49 fans, it's been a uh, it's been a long while. We've had lots going on. Uh, it is what it is. Kids are back in school, but we got uh, we got soccer practice, soccer games, all that stuff now. Uh, just got back from Alexandria, Virginia. We're up at Andrew Frederick's training days. Awesome event up there, training conference. Uh, great stuff there. They're coming back again to Lexington, Kentucky, so we'll definitely be involved in that again come March 2023. Lots going on, but uh, got back to Fiery 49 today and uh, continue a little work we've been working on. Uh, interior stuff so uh we've had a few shorts out haven't done the whole thing but uh that nice fresh seat cover the original finally had some stitching let go that tore but uh if you look inside that floor plan floor plan floor pan uh you see a few extra bits in there so uh stops and starts short periods of time been working on getting this back in so uh, it's hard to get a good light the sun's at a weird angle I don't have like a whole production crew and lighting that kind of stuff so <laughs> quick quick view of what's going on here we got the reproduction floor mat from classic industries there uh this is their insulating mat that comes with it and then we're adding in the uh the sound deadening material under that so uh, in addition to going back to basically factory inside we're also adding the deadening material to uh absorb some of the sound and get rid of the uh hollow tin can ringing that happens in there and uh even though this is all just roughed in, nothing is in as it will be tucked away or cleaned up. Uh, the short drive we just took, it's amazing the difference in uh, the sound quality inside the cab. So much of the rattles, uh, squeaks, bangs, just that hollow drumming that you uh, heard before without it was in there. Of course, uh, this is something we had to get reproduction on, uh, although we're trying to stay as original as possible with Fiery 49, the, uh, the original mat, uh, the original floor mat, the rubber one, uh, the horsehair mat underneath of it had just disintegrated. They were dry rotted. They, uh, there was no salvage of them. They were literally laying in pieces in the floorboard uh, and also causing, they were holding a lot of moisture. They caused a lot of the surface rust we had to address. So the uh, multi layers we got going on here, if I can keep my shadow out of the shot. Reproduction rubber mat, simple stuff. Uh, this is a 49 truck. These were never super fit and finished trim rings, all that. They just lay in there. But for a couple reasons, one on this side, uh, the battery access is actually under here, so you don't want this tucked in where you can't quickly access it because this is how you get to the battery under here, uh, mat here. This is the only thing. We added this for the sound deadening, and look right there. You can see the battery door. Uh, other side needs the same thing because the access to the brake master cylinder is under the floor on Fire 49 so uh, we have to keep that mat where we can literally flip it up to service the brakes, access the master cylinder at fluid if needed, access the battery. So that's just how it was in 49. Uh, this is still roughed in, but it won't be a lot different than what you see right here once we get all the uh, final trim and stuff done. We uh, used the templates that came with the mat. Actually, there was spots on the mat that were cut out to show where to make the cutouts for the shift lever, the parking brake lever. Uh, it did not have the cutout for the starter switch, so we had to do a split there. We'll finish tucking that in, you can see the mat. It did have cutouts to fit around the uh, clutch brake and gas pedals. So uh, we'll get all that tucked away, tucked in. Of course, this being a fire truck built from a, uh, a chassis, there was no cutout in the rubber mat for the shift lever for the transfer case. So what this is, if you've not seen previous videos, since Fiery 49 was a pumper, there's a PTO driven pump on the truck has a uh, transfer case this letter you just lift this up move that back and uh, when it engages here that engages the transfer case that's something we're not going to engage or do anything with for a long time because the uh, one time we actually had it accidentally get engaged uh, did not sound healthy pumps clearly dry we also know the tank has a lot of uh, debris and stuff in it which means the pump probably does too we don't want all that rotating assembly going and uh, possibly chewing something up and when we change the fluid on the transfer case, lots of water in there. So more than likely we've got a, uh, it's not more than likely, we've got a bad seal between that transfer case and the pump housing. That's, that'll be an extensive repair, requires removing lots of big stuff. So we're just not gonna put water in the truck for a long time. That'll be way down the road, but we're getting really, really, really close to having the truck basically in a uh, original patina with the things that uh, on the truck that had disintegrated or were unrepairable uh, being replaced very close the truck is driving great uh, with the ignition upgrades the cleaning tuning the trucks running awesome our uh, our last real major hiccup uh, to getting this thing where uh, we're very comfortable driving it about anywhere is those tires those are still uh, we are trying 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 to 
find a supplier for original style tires to go on the original wheels. These are a two tire. Uh, the back still has the old ag tread on them. We're gonna do away with that. We wanna get just a, a street tread on all around. Kinda like what the front has on here, if you can see if it shows up. But uh, we're trying to get a, a set of six to match these front tires. Uh, in the reproduction world, Firestone does list and many sellers list the uh, the correct seven and a half uh, 20 inch tube tire that would fit these rims. It's uh, still a perfectly good option. These are not the split rim tires or split rims that you hear so much about that you don't want to put tires on nobody deals with. They just have a locking ring on the outside, but uh, these aren't the widow makers. So trying to keep the original wheels in place uh, because finding an aftermarket wheel is just about as hard as finding the tires. But uh, with all the COVID stuff and lack of production and falling behind, no one seems to be uh, producing the tires and advertising the tires that will fit the uh, wheels in a stock configuration. So we can get the liners, we can get the tubes, but been trying for two years now to buy a set of six tires that uh, so far were unsuccessful. Do have a friend who, uh, he's a, a Chinese import guy. Uh, we've sent him the specs, pictures, trying at least at the very least, if we can find some kind of knockoff, it doesn't look like we'll be getting the Firestones anytime soon. Uh, they're just not available. So uh, if we can find something that doesn't uh, have rubber wrapping the wheels of a 1949 vintage, because those are tires original to the era, then uh, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But uh, maybe China comes through, maybe Firestone catches up. Maybe somebody else, if you're watching this, you have other options, but we're looking for uh, seven and a half by 20 tube tires. I'm not too worried about the ply, but the truck does weigh 8,080 pounds. I do need the uh, weight ratings. Uh, these tires right here that are on it when they're in good condition rated, I think it's 3150 pounds each, which is more than enough to carry the truck. But uh, yeah, if, you, uh, if you're a tire guy and have a supplier, know who to talk to, can send us in the right direction, we're looking, we need these right here. Let's see if I can get the, I'll get you a nice little video picture if, I, if they're up the right way. How well did I park? Oh, didn't even plan it, but that's perfect. Right there, tire specs. Like I said, these are not radials, these are tubed tires. So uh, they've got the liners, the tubes, everything inside, that's just a split ring. So that locking ring is what holds uh, the tire and the bead on. But uh, hey, if you can help us out, we would appreciate it because uh, kind of getting desperate. The truck's in really good shape now, it's driving great. We're getting all the fit and finish stuff going and uh, would love to get this thing out for some fall cruising and not have to trailer it because of the worry of the tires. Because if, if something lets go, uh, we don't have a spare. We can't get something to replace it. So kind of, it's always a fingers crossed moment driving the truck currently. So, hey, if you can help us out, hook us up, hit us up, let us know. We need it. Fiery 49. Thanks for watching. Check back soon. We'll keep the updates coming as we can make them.